Hi, welcome back to another photo link uh, video on uh, paint.net. In this particular video, is it's going to be a two-part series. We're going to talk about selection tools in paint.net. There are basically uh, four selection tools and two tools that I will choose to call modifiers, or one modifier actually and another action tool. But the tools that are basically the selection tools are we have uh, uh, rectangular select, we have a lasso tool, a circular select, and a magic wand. Um, now, the last or the uh, rectangular select, the lasso, and the circular select select by a drawn region. The magic wand selects by colors and color similarity. Now, when you select one of these tools, this tool line appears, and basically it has uh, two parts. First of all, there's the selection mode. Uh, add, okay, replace, add, subtract, intersect, and invert, or XOR, or exclusive OR. Replace means when you draw that selection, you're going to draw a new selection no matter what. In the add mode, you're going to add to the, the existing selection with the selection that you have drawn. The subtract mode means that the new selection that you are drawing will be subtracted from the existing selection. The intersection will say that the intersection between uh, the selection that you have drawn and the new selection, or where the two overlap, will become your selection. And the invert or XOR or exclusive OR selection means that the selection that existed previously and the new selection, where they overlap, will not be selected but the other two portions will be added to become the new selection. Let me give you some examples of this. <clears throat> I'm going to go into replace mode and I'm going to, using my uh, rectangular select, I'm going to draw a selection. Now, if I go into add mode, I'm going to draw a new selection and those two become a selection, the addition of those two. All the real estate that those two cover become the selection. I'm going to undo that to get back to our regular selection. So we just have a standard square selection. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to go into subtract mode. So now where these two overlap, the first, or the first selection will remain and where uh, the two overlap or the second selection will be subtracted from the first as it is there as you can easily see okay we will undo that and now let's get into uh, intersection this is where the first selection and the second selection the area that is jointly covered by both becomes the new selection okay I will undo that and now the final is um, the final selection is invert or XOR. What that means is the two selections will be added together, but where they overlap will not be selected, as you can see there. So that covers those two. Now if we take a look at this square selection, and what we'll do is we can use these all these selection tools together. So I'm going to come up here with this square selection. I'm going to go to additive mode. I'm going to add this circular selection to it. So if you notice, we have that. And then while I'm in add mode, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of freehand selection. So we'll do that. So we have that freehand selection. Now, uh, in circular mode, we might go into uh, subtract mode. So what we'll do is we'll do a circle in the center right there, and that will be subtracted from the selection. So these tools can all be used in conjunction and actually become quite powerful when you take all these methods that they can interact with each other. Now, once we have our selection made, or even before we have our selection made, the, when these selections are put together, we can come over here into our move selection mode. Now, if we click on the Move Selection mode, what happens is we get control handles around our selection. 
This allows us to resize our selection. And in addition to resizing the selection, if we right click in it, we can rotate the selection. Okay. Now, these things I'm covering briefly now. In the next video, I'm going to go into an elaborate selection and show how they can be used. Okay, now we have this selection here. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to come into my color select. And I would like to add to this selection um, this white portion right here with a tolerance factor of like, let's say... Um, with a tolerance of like, let's say, uh, 14. Now, if you'll notice, I can click around here and I can add that into my selection. Okay? So that color, that more exact, I can be even more general with the color. I can take it up to like 30. And if I select this, what I can basically do is add a large volume of information to my selection by adding that to the color. Now, it's still working away here, but you can kind of take my word for it. Okay, see, we've added this color in. I'm going to undo that. Um, but I think that you can see what's happening here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my undo, my undo, undo history. I'm going to go back to my open image. Now, this is important because you can go back and undo any of these selections that you have made. I want to talk about the final um, parameter that can be used with this tool. And what this is, is this is restraining the geometry of that tool. In normal, and this applies to several of these tools, um, I can draw the box freehand any way I want to. Okay, this is in the rectangular select. I'm going to undo that. Now, if I come over to here and if I go fixed ratio, what that will be drawn as is a box with a width that is four parts to a three-part height. Okay, so I'm going to edit and I'm going to undo that. Now, another thing I can do here is I can say fixed size. So if I say four by three, um, that is the size of the um, box, no matter what I do with it. So that covers that. Uh, basically, we have covered these tools. Uh, I would like to spend more time on the uh, color select and how to use these in conjunction to make very elaborate selections and then what we can do with the selection. So I'm going to cover that in the next video. Uh, but thank you for watching. This is Selections Part 1. Um, please visit the site www.photolink, that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com for more videos and uh, more about uh, Paint.net, GIMP, uh, use of your camera, um, and other uh, photographic and digital photographic uh, topics. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good night.